Hello, I'm Stephen Chun with Money in Tech, and thank you for joining us. We're here at Coin Congress, and we're joined by Charlie Lee, creator of Litecoin. Charlie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Now, um, you just gave a presentation. Uh, tell us, what was your presentation about? Uh, I talked about Litecoin, um, the design of Litecoin, um, how do I measure whether it's successful today or not, and where we go from now. You know? And kind of in a broader aspect, please tell us what Litecoin is. Sure. So Litecoin is, so you know what Bitcoin is. Yes. So Litecoin is an alternative uh, currency to Bitcoin. So it's very commonly known as silver to Bitcoin's gold. So if, if Bitcoin is like gold, Litecoin is like the silver equivalent of that. So um, it's, I designed it to complement gold and um, it has uh, more coins and faster transactions. So Bitcoin um, transactions are about on average 10 minutes e each for each block, Litecoin is about two and a half minutes. So it's four times faster. It's significantly faster. Yeah, I designed it to be um, kind of more lightweight, more easy to use, it will have lower fees. So kind of like, similar to how gold is um, more like a store of value, and silver is more like an everyday currency, um, this is what I was trying to do. Can you elaborate, I guess, on the kind of maybe the algorithm or the blockchain of it, of why it's four times faster? It's actually a design decision. Like Satoshi designed it for, for Bitcoin blocks to happen every 10 minutes. And it's a trade-off because if you, if you make blocks happen too fast, um, miners will waste a lot of um, effort mining on old, like a previous block because they might not hear about the latest block. So uh, there's a lot of wasted work. So 10 minutes is a, tr is a trade off where it's fast enough, but it gives it enough time for um, miners to hear about all these new blocks when it happens. And with Litecoin, I figured that I thought the 10 minute decision was a bit too conservative. So I thought two and a half minutes would, would work better um, because a faster transaction actually makes the, when you send coins, you get confirmation faster. It feels more um, better suited for everyday use. And the trade-off is miners are a little bit more efficient, but I think it's worth it. Definitely done a lot of observation and studies. Now tell us a little about your background and how you got into the Bitcoin community and then creating thus Litecoin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my background is in um, computer science. I got a bachelor and master from MIT on, in computer science. And recently I was working at Google for about six years before last year when I joined, Google, uh, when I joined Coinbase. I left Google to join Coinbase, which is which most most users are aware it's a Bitcoin company. Um, yeah, and I've also done a lot of um, commodities trading, like gold and silver. So I'm fairly uh, well versed in the gold and silver, how it's used throughout history as currency. So that's also why I came up with the idea of creating silver. Now, why is Litecoin the second most popular alternative currency? in comparison to Bitcoin? For various reasons, it resonated with people. The silver analogy actually helped a bit. Um, and it was launched very fairly, no pre-mine, and um, it was widely publicized. So people see that um, it was a fair launch, people supported that. And also, I made it so that the miners, we, Litecoin was not competing with Bitcoin for miners because it uses a different proof of work. So at, the, at launch, Bitcoin was mined by GPUs and Litecoin was mined by CPUs. And then as time progressed, Bitcoin ASICs came on mining Bitcoin and Litecoin became dominated by GPU mining. And these days, ASICs are coming out for Litecoin. So it's, it's still kept that um, not competing with miners with Bitcoin and that helped a lot with the coin succeeding. Now in regards to the miners, um this may be kind of a more operations question. Is it interchangeable? Let's say a miner is with Bitcoin for most of his or her career. Can they jump to being a Litecoin be miner? Different hardware, right? Today, if you had ASIC mining Bitcoin, you would need ASIC hardware that's specifically targeted at mining Script, which is a Litecoin proof of work. From yeah. your experience, what's easier to mine, Bitcoin or Litecoin? It's not any easier or harder. It's just okay. different, right? A few years ago when Bitcoin was like GPU mine, it was easier to mine Litecoin because all you needed was your CPU running uh, the mining software and you would be mining Litecoin. Today, they're both um, kind of ASIC mine coins. So if you have Bitcoin ASICs, in order to mine Litecoin, you have to purchase Litecoin ASICs. So it's, it's actually pretty easy to mine either coin. 
it's just there's a more of a capital investment you need to put up. Now, do you think there's a potential for it to work out like beta and VHS? Um, well, the, the thing is, Litecoin is not competing with Bitcoin. So it's not like a, a one or the other. I envision where you can use Bitcoin and Litecoin at the same time, right? You same can time. use, well, okay. not same time, but you can use Bitcoin for larger purchases. I see people like buying houses and cars with Bitcoin right. in like not too distant future, but right. then you can use Litecoin to buy your, your meals, let's say, or coffee. Okay. So, so you would place Litecoin on a more smaller scale of digital currency transactions? Yeah. Okay. Now, with that said, then what is the future of Litecoin in respects to Bitcoin? The future, I think it's, we're still early, right? Like Bitcoin is kind of in like the merchant stage where you see like big merchants like Dell, Overstock, um, Dish Networks, Expedia starting to accept Bitcoin. They start to get it, right? But then there's like the Amazons, the Ebays, the bigger, even bigger merchants that haven't embraced Bitcoin yet. So we'll get there, right? So Litecoin is still far behind Bitcoin in terms of merchant adoption. However, but, do you see yourself venturing into the untapped markets that Bitcoin hasn't monopolized yet? That Litecoin can very well you know, win over them instead before Bitcoin? I think Litecoin and Bitcoin would work together for these merchants, right? I don't see like there's, Bitcoin is kind of paving the way. It's definitely getting all the merchants to understand Bitcoin. And Litecoin is taking advantage of that. Eventually, like you can see the bigger companies are setting both. Now, if I was the CEO of Overstock.com, would it be more troublesome to use Litecoin as well if I'm already comfortable with Bitcoin? No, because it's actually, the technology is very similar, right? A merchant processing tool um, can help them accept both without real um, any headache, right? It's not, it's not like once you accept Bitcoin, like adding Litecoin is that much more work. It's very little work. So um, yeah, so it's kind of like, I think it will be very easy for a company for merchants to accept it. And right now they currently coexist. Do you think for the future they can still exist at the same time? Yeah. I don't see why it will be one or the other. Yeah. Any more final words about Litecoin that you'd like to uh, educate our viewers about? Bitcoin and Litecoin, right now it's like in the merchant stage. So like in the future I see where um, your moms and dads will start using Bitcoin and Litecoin to pay for purchases, right? It's, we're not there yet. It's still really hard for them to use cryptocurrency and not everyone accepts it, but I think we'll get there. It's like once all the merchants start accepting it or most of the merchants, then people will realize how easy it is to use cryptocurrency for purchases and, and then we'll get there. I sense your vision. Um, what challenges do you see with this vision? Obviously regulatory challenges, right? Um, regulation come down can make it really hard or onerous for companies to um, support Bitcoin and Litecoin and it would slow down innovation and really slow everything down but I my point of view is that it's kind of inevitable so it's just a matter of time so reg regulation can slow it down but it can't really kill it. Now you being the creator of Litecoin and kind of creating the business plan what is the future in, in your business plan for Litecoin? The next steps so what I'm working on is Talking to Bitcoin companies or just companies in general to tell to convince them that Litecoin is here to stay and it's a good complement to Bitcoin. Why exchanges should support Bitcoin and Litecoin? Why um, like merchants should accept Bitcoin and Litecoin? How that helps them? So that's what I'm working on these days to kind of um, get the word out there that Litecoin and Bitcoin go together. Well, we wish you the best of luck with the future of Litecoin. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin. I'm Stephen Chun here at Coin Congress. Thank you for watching Money in Tech.